Sir, we've spotted some people. They're probably armed. They could have seen us too, but I can't tell if they're friendly. What should we do? We always assume they're hostile all the time. I've never seen any instance ever where these guys are friendly. Treat them as hostile. They are always hostile. If they're armed, they're hostile. Um, there are three of them in that group, but that's fine. Welcome back to IFC. Hope you're having a great day. Uh, I've done my scavenging for the day, and I, I've realized something. I think with the amount of loot we're about to have with all these cars, and I probably should keep an eye on these guys just in case, with the amount of loot we're about to bring back, we're going to fill the storage. That's, that's just kind of the thing that's going to happen. So uh, we need to get a storage expansion pretty fast. And I think I'm going to go ahead and have this building serve as a warehouse. It's $6.99. I think it's pretty good. Um, a lot of people have recommended, you know, spreading out and having your warehouses around so they don't have to go as far to drop things off. I really don't think that's going to be all that helpful. We're in cars. So, like, we're going to be, you know, driving. Uh, it's going to be fast anyway. Um, and again, I like to have my warehouses close to where I'm going to be doing things with them. I would prefer to have this be a warehouse or to have... You know, maybe this one over here be a warehouse because it's going to be close to the cookhouses and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so I actually think I get more out of it from this one and it's only three extra wood. Yeah, I'm actually going to use this one instead. We're going to have this entire building serve as a warehouse right here. This whole thing is going to be a warehouse now. Yeah, it should be 781 at when it's full. 26 wood. Yep, right there. So we're going to have that happen. Um, but again, we're going to prioritize having the antenna built but i mean aside from that yeah so let's take we don't have a whole lot of people here um i'm gonna take all the people off of science and stick them all in the tower and we're gonna see whether or not that helps us actually go ahead and be able to build this but i, I want to say that that's gonna happen now the antenna Get ready. all right hold on i need to make sure that we are not actually at threat here because we have everybody really spread out. Clear. Everybody's got their vehicles with them. Everybody's grabbing things. I haven't even looked to see what they've gotten yet. So let's just go down the list and see what we got. Four cans is it. Reporting. Okay. Well, I mean, there's something in your arms at least. But oh my God. All night, you only got four cans in the car. Uh, you got a little bit there. All right. That's a pretty good haul. I like that. Uh, how about this one? That's pretty good so far. How about this car? Okay. We got some stuff in there. And... All right, we're bringing back stuff. I like it. The truck, truck's got a ways to go, but uh, yeah, we're uh, we're cruising here. All right, we're gonna get this done. Now, hopefully, the tower finishes this time. It's a little bit further away from this building. Trying to help it along. So let's hope that that actually helps it be built. It takes all day to build this tower, doesn't it? All day. That is the only thing we're doing all day. <laughs> it's the only thing and it still won't be done holy smokes done. yep that is not going to complete <laughs> wow wow five people couldn't put that antenna up all right uh we've reached the end of our scavenging adventures for this car so let's bring the cars back it is not a moon night anymore so everybody who's got stuff needs to come back um but i don't think we can store it all yet because we don't have the warehouse completed and I don't believe we have enough... Yeah, we have enough wood to do it. We just didn't have enough people to do it. Nobody's home. Everybody's out scavenging. So, yeah, we definitely need to bring everybody back. So, everybody's going to get in their cars. Uh, we're going to go ahead and tell you to come back to HQ. Yeah, you're going back to the car. And whoever's over here... Which what pot is this? It's you. You're very close, but you're going to go back to the car. But you're actually really close, but you're not armed. So, yes, back to the car with you. You're not armed. Uh, the truck, they're just chilling here. Okay. I think we're good. Um, yeah, I think we're good. We're going to take you back because I don't think I have storage for all this stuff anyway. So it's going to be fine if we, if we bring it back. Now, what happens if you don't have enough storage for stuff? Well, your characters are going to hold on to it. If you disband them, I, I can't verify. I, I haven't been able to check it, but... I think you'll lose what they got. <laughs> um, I, I might be wrong on that. I haven't really paid as much of attention as I should have on that because I don't really disband people when I'm full on on our storage. I don't really usually do that very very often. Um, but yeah. Oh, there we go. 
So we got a pod right there. Uh, is that everybody? Roger. That's everybody coming back. All right. So this is a new night. Looks like it's a stormy one. Might turn out to be a dark day. I don't know. Roger. We'll find out. On my way. You come on back on my way. and just drop it off in here. Now, again, we're going to fill up this storage most likely. But just in case we don't, I'm bringing everybody back right into the building. You. Oh, boy. That is... That's not the sound I like to hear. Who knows what swarms are going to be like in this run. <laughs> Disband you and anyone else who is like partially fit. I think like right here, right? We could maybe get... Nobody else has guns. Are you bringing guns back? Hopefully you guys are bringing guns back. I'm going to disband this group. And then you guys have a bunch of stuff that you've put in. And we are basically full. Yeah, they can't drop their stuff because they're it's full. And we probably have something in a vehicle, maybe? No, did we unload we unloaded the vehicles entirely. Okay, cool. So the only thing we weren't able to unload is this canned food. That's pretty good. I like that. Um let's bring them out and put them back in, and they'll unload everything they can. So now the warehouse is completely full. And this means that scavenging is pointless. We can't store anything so we're not going to be scavenging today uh not until we get the tower built and then also we need to get this built and that does mean taking i heard shots i heard shots and it's not from me i think uh i think the dead are fighting i think the dead are fighting somebody i'm gonna take the tanker because the tanker's got a lot of it's a beefy boy we're just going to cruise on over here and see if we can't see any raiders shooting at undead. Because the raiders, they have to fight them too. We see them die to combat with the dead all the time. I'm going to have them move over here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Stop. Okay. Uh, now the tanker is a beefy boy, like I said, but... Uh, do we really want to be running into that entire pod with a tanker truck? I don't know. We could do some serious damage to it. The, t the tanker, I mean. We could do some serious damage to the tanker. You know what? How about we get a running start? <laughs> How about we go this way? And then we go this way. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, run them over. Here we go. Boom, boom, boom. Here we go. Now, I'm still hearing shots. I don't know who's shooting coming from this direction that's right, over here all right i kind of want to go check and check it out i'm pretty sure the damage i just caused these guys our our dudes can easily handle this so i want to go check this out and see if i can't see what the heck's going on over here the yeah coming. they're fighting infected that's perfect we're just gonna watch them do this there's three of them in that building that's pretty good I mean, maybe they'll take out the infected or maybe they'll die. Can't tell. All right. So we've got, you know, a whole bunch of guns in here. We should be okay. They are, however, attacking the goddamn warehouse. All right. We're going to pop out really quick. Pop out real quick. Yep. Now they're drawn to me. Good. Good, good. All right. Now they're going to go attack that. This is, this is why... Ah, uh, okay, 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 okay. Here's what we want to do. Uh, make a new squad. I really don't want you to be completely unarmed, but fine. Just move. hop in any vehicle. I don't care which one. On there we go. See if you can't draw their attention, please. Away. Get away from my... There you go. Get away from my research center. There. there you go. All right, now get inside the building. No, get inside the building. Roger. All right. That's okay. We're, we're good here. Everything is fine. We're going to take them out now. Uh, we got this. These guys right here, they are not at all. They're not dead at all, man. I thought they'd be dead, but no. Okay, cool. Well, I'm glad I saw that pod. I don't know if I helped by ramming it, but it didn't do a whole lot of damage to the truck. The truck's pretty damn strong, so... We're just going to bring these guys back over here. Drop the truck. Uh, let's park it in a... Parking in a better spot. I kind of want to just park it out of the way. There we go. 
and then it's 3 30 a.m there's not really a whole lot going on here so we're gonna say yet yeah, now that it's daytime let's go ahead and disband these guys these guys i honestly kind of wanted to span everybody we just did a ton of scavenging today and i kind of wanted to span everybody now what i just did is disbanded and it did drop the stuff in storage so it will go over capacity if you disband your squad with stuff now i've learned good um that said though we're not gonna be able to put anything in storage at all until we build this building so that's the next priority we're gonna put everybody on that and you know you have six out of six on this and then the rest of you you can't scavenge because there's no room so you're gonna go into research instead we have eight points of research so guess what i'm hitting this i know it's probably irresponsible but i'm doing it we're gonna go get the fortified walls right now it is so irresponsible <laughs> i'm definitely looking forward to it <laughs> uh hi boss it's been a rough night something must have made the infected extremely bloodthirsty yeah if more and more come our chances of survival will be really low agreed we will prevail we'll get over this we have to we're all that's left of humanity all right that's a little right. <laughs> giving yourself a bit too much credit there all right sir uh we're gonna take the rest of the three people we have left over here that can't be staffed in any one of these place positions and we're just going to have them search this building so it's only three people but we'll do it anyway chief the antenna is now operational let's broadcast an invitation as a test or just call the squads back to hq okay cool okay. we will let's start broadcasting now these guys went immediately to scavenging which we can't do because we don't have storage so it kind of doesn't matter so instead of scavenging uh, i'm going to turn you into a squad and we're just going to scavenge in a you have an inventory sort of style way we're going to hit, hit these two buildings uh over here until this storage is done wait no way no Chief way scavenging this place but there is something odd about it someone must have been here recently dude he's ground. this close Drop your weapon. are you kidding Hands me where I can see him. our terrorist buddy is this close to us wow who is this that's crazy nice little squad you got here very very nice i still love this guy i think he is the best character in this game so far for sure who are you uh you know just a humble man earning his living on the road <laughs> i can't believe he's this close they're normally you know significantly further away from this i want to speak to the leader then you're in luck this would be me yeah how big is your group why do you expect me to tell you that i'm not stupid what do you want i don't know what can you offer for your people's lives how about like a ton of canned food <laughs> just tell me what you want hmm let's see canned food shitload of cans full of delicious stuff god i kill for a chicken soup oh wait <laughs> uh-huh please don't hurt anyone don't hurt anyone please i'll be nice to him no no let's be reasonable consider what i'm about to say you ready you're ready <sighs> just say it already this is how it's gonna go you're coming here with supplies and quit you take too long your people die you bring any weapons poof they're dead so yeah that's about it that's about it <laughs> we let them go we do this and you let my people go yeah yeah a deal's a deal all right i'm gonna accept this but i'm not gonna do it we went through this twice already if you're new here um this event 
I'm glad we have an understanding. You can approach this from a couple Later. different perspectives. You can bring him the food, in which case he will laugh at you and say, you moron, I can't believe you fell for that. And then he'll keep those people. And then he'll request that you give him double his, you know, give him four more cans uh, to release those guys. If you give him four more cans, he will say, you moron, I can't believe you fell for that. And the cycle will literally repeat with the exact same dialogue over and over and over again until you run out of people and then you just can't do anything. So if you get this event, don't give him anything. Just just, just take guns. <laughs> just take the guns, man. So we're going to take guns over there instead. Uh, I'm going to bring the scientists down. I don't want to do zero, but let's bring the scientists down a bit. Make a new squad. Uh, let's bring one more scientist down. There we go. Make a new squad. And these guys are going to go that way. Uh, yeah, we're just going to send these guys with pistols. It's fine. Um, they do have... I don't know if they actually have assault rifles. It's just their logo. But I will bring my rifle. It's fine. I will bring the rifle too. So we're going to bring overwhelming force to the party. And I think that will probably get his attention. So here we go. We're not going to bring any canned food or anything. Here we go. Whoa. I see that somebody doesn't like playing by the rules. I told you to come with supplies, not guns. Yeah, well, release them. Release my people now. Nobody will get hurt. All right, all right. So, how you want to play it? Well, let them go. You let my people go. And we don't kill yours. That's not what we agreed, Operator Mate. You'll give us what we want, or your people will be singing hallelujah in heaven today. Release my squad. You've heard our offer. It's final. So is ours. Give us stuff or they're done. Then we fight. You've made your choice already. We'll just do the world a favor. God damn it, they fooled us! Kill them, boys! I'll They're get coming. you next time, operator. All right, so our people are free. And I don't believe we took any wounds. Uh, we got one wounded. That's it, one wound. Okay, so one wounded. Everybody can come back home now. Uh, we'll have one squad. These guys go that way. You guys take this building, and you guys take this building. I, I do want to... Well, actually, hang on. You guys have guns. Bring the guns back. Yeah, we have room in our storage now. We have the room, by the way, because I no longer have guns in storage. They're on people's hand, in people's hands. But that's the only reason we have storage. So I'll disband you and disband you. And now we're basically full again. Um, we have the maximum number of people over here. And I believe we can get the warehouse done today. And that's going to be super helpful. Research complete, advanced masonry. I have never used these walls before. Never got far enough to do this. So the fact that we have this on video too is insane. Fortified walls. They take 20 brick, four metal, and five wood each. Oh my God. That is insane. And the gate is insane too. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. Now how Okay, I got to know how um how strong is this gate? Right? Like is it? It's got to be real tough, right? Cuz holy shit. It's so expensive, you guys. I mean, sure, we could just fortify now. Let's skip the brick walls and go right to the fortifieds, but we need a lot more resources to be able to do that. So I think it's probably time we take a look and, you know, breaking down some of the buildings we're not going to be using for our wall. And to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to keep these buildings inside the walls. I know that means expanding it even more than it was already, but now I'm taking a look at like, how can I get the you know the best wall for the least amount of resources obviously we are going to be utilizing the gaps within these uh sections here but 
I think some of these things, like the gates, for example, um, we're just going to make them fortified gates. I mean, oh my god, they're so expensive, though. I did not know they'd be that pricey. <laughs> like, here's an example of the difference in cost here. Okay, brick wall. From here, if you're if you're curious, if we, from here to here. All right, let's just uh, we'll use uh, the same distance here. So, from this corner here to this corner here, it's 18 brick. Okay, you saw the cost. All right, that's the brick wall, fortified wall. From this road to this side here, instead of 18 brick, it's 48 brick. 12 wood and 10 metal. Oh my god. It's a hundred brick for this. <laughs> That's crazy. Alright. I think we're gonna do it though. I mean, it's kind of whoops, that's not how I want to do this. I wanna I wanna cancel. Yeah. I think we're gonna do this. It's just gonna take a very long time to have the wall up, but man, is that gonna be cool to have like already. It's cool. Um, okay. So in the interim though. Let's figure out where the wall is going to be. And I think last time we used, um, I think it was this building here. We used here and, uh, we brought it from here to here. And then maybe we could bring it out to use this one and then bring it back in. I'm trying to figure out how to make it the cheapest possible. Right? So that means finding gaps in buildings and, and utilizing them that way is what we were doing before. So I will probably have one here. A gate, I mean. Probably a gate here and a gate here. So I, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna queue it up or anything. We have other things that are more important to build, but oh my god, it's I want it bad. That's the problem, is I actually want it bad. Uh fortif oh my god, the fortified tower. I forgot all about this. Alright, so metal tower, 15 metal, five wood. Fortified tower, 36 brick, sorry, 30 brick, uh, 36, 30, 30 brick, five metal and five wood. But like, it's going to be fortified. It's a real good freaking tower, right? We should totally do it. I'm not sure where, but I think we're going to, we're going to be breaking down a whole bunch of buildings. That's how we're going to afford it. We're going to start breaking down just a whole lot of buildings. So let's start that right now. We can take some of these buildings that are over here and start breaking them down. I think like one big one is better though. And you know what? Like these are going to be part of my wall. So I would say perhaps I kind of want to utilize this now because it's a really short gap here. And then we can have the wall go from here to here. And then I get to keep these two buildings. I like that. Okay. I think uh, we can start by breaking down maybe this building. That's got 102 brick in it. Right? We'll prompt those two to get broken down. And our guys will go out there and do that. We are now... Uh, we now have st extra storage. Right? So now our capacity is up to over 1,000. We can get you guys to come back and this building is now scavenged and this building is going to be scavenged soon, but at least they're building the things now. So let's hit this button and invite people in and now they'll go to the warehouse to drop it off instead of HQ, which is fine. We'll have many different warehouses. It's not, this isn't the only one I'm going to have, but it's nice to have this one because I'm fairly confident this is going to be my cookhouse. And then. It's either this one or this one. It might be this one because the fields will be here. We're going to farm right here. So, yeah. Uh, the next construction project is advanced housing. We want to get people satisfied with better living conditions. And we saved the squad by defeating the raiders. That's giving us a bump right now. So, the next thing we want to do is, is that. So, I'm going to say that we take a house, not a shelter, but a house now. And we can have 51 living quarters, right? So that's 51 spaces for people to really love their living space. Or I can do this one for 96 spaces. We're going to have maybe two different ones. So I think it's probably fine to just take this 
go all the way. I'm not sure why it doesn't just, you know, highlight the whole thing right away. It just doesn't make any sense to not do that. Hang on. Why is this not? Yeah. Give me the whole thing. Is that not? Okay. Resources. And yeah, I know I could just click it, but like I said, I I've clicked it before just a regular click and I'll see like a corner section completely cut off. So I, I kind of like to control it now. Reporting. Um, okay. Let's have you guys scavenge this building. That was a pretty big pod, pretty big horde. So uh, there's really no reason to do this without a car, right? I don't think there's any reason to not take a car with you. So get over here and grab a car. And then you can go over here and do this with the car. That way you can respond quickly to come back if you need to. Uh, we probably should have a squad in HQ just so they can have the vision, the sight line, right? We need to see that, that vision radius. And if we do have anything attacking us tonight, it would most likely be dogs which are not that scary. They're scary if you're on foot, but no, I, don't know. I guess it's not dogs. And they probably will attack the warehouse because it's close, right? So this is the part where we want to get in the car and bring them in to where we want them to be instead of where they want to be, which is right there on that warehouse. So we're just going to bring them in with the car, shoot them, pop, pop, pop. There we go. Bring them right in where they need to be. And now we just... Oh my gosh, you guys. Park the car and get in the house. There you go. Alright, we'll take this building here. And then... Yeah, we're going to start breaking these down every day. While we're calling for survivors to hopefully come in and join us. And then, as far as scavenging goes, we're currently sitting with 10 days of food. So that's easy. Um, we also have... 12 bags of grain we could be using with some chickens. Uh, the only reason I don't convert these yet because it's, it's not protected, right? So we want to we wanna get these buildings protected before we start converting too many of them because otherwise we're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to build towers and stuff. And I don't want to build extra towers if I don't need to. With such limited resources, I'm already out of wood. With such limited resources, building towers is, is fine, but I have such limited personnel and then also just building resources themselves are just incredibly skim at the moment so Going there. On my way. let's search that building then this one then this one we we'll try to search the ones that are nearby and then we can take a look at what it would take to to kind of get rid of them but we're we're breaking down buildings for all those resources and having the warehouse here just means a little bit less distance to cover as well so that's pretty good too it is december we wouldn't be able to do much here anyway as far as farming, so good thing we didn't invest in that yet. Hello? Does anybody hear me? Yeah, it's this guy. I hear you. I hear you. This is the infection-free zone. Thank God. I've lost all hope. I... I need help. Um, I'm sick. Yeah? What kind of help do you need? What help do you need? I need <coughs> Yeah. Yeah. Go on. Were you bitten? Have you been bitten or scratched by an infected? No contact with them. Even if, uh, even if I've lived for years, I, I am immune to the mad virus. Do you need any medications? Yes, for sure. I don't have any. I will repay what I have. Uh, okay, what's your symptoms? What are your symptoms? There's nothing left. I have a fever, cough, and chills. Had to catch <coughs> a cold after the last downpour. I, I need a doctor. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, okay, so uh, what do you, uh, what do you have? What do you have then? I have food, a lot of it. I've been stacking it <coughs> since, uh, since the beginning. Canned meat, soups, you name it. I, <coughs> I also got some ammo and uh, 
and a gun or two. Yep, there it is. Cool. Can you come over here? No, he can't. Okay, we'll come to you. Where's your address? Cool. Where are you? Many thanks, you're a lifesaver. Cool, we'll send a squad to you. Please. Give us your address. He's way off on 30. I am staying at. All right, so he's at the very edge of the map. Great. Uh, I didn't anticipate him being that far away, but okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and take a car over to him. Okay, I'm going to cut a little bit of the video out there because I just spoiled. Um, I, I, again, I like to approach things as best as I can with the assumption that you haven't seen the series before. That you haven't seen the game before, right? Uh, I, I always have to make the assumption that you're watching whatever this is for the first time. I know a lot of you aren't, but I'm going to try to let the, let the dialogues play and... You know, we're going to go through the stories and stuff. Uh, I'm not going to like fake being surprised by what happens over here. Uh, but I don't want to tell people what's going to happen before it happens. I think that's poor form. And uh, I, oh, I pretty much did it. And uh, I kind of went, wait, I don't want to do that anymore. And so I uh, have now uh, just cut it out. So if I ever do that on accident, I'll just cut it out. Yeah. Um, all right. So I am just gonna keep this going they're wrapping it up they didn't get a whole lot done we are trying to do the houses houses are pretty expensive compared to shelters it's gonna take a while to build this um you know and we need a lot of wood um we're still trying to struggle for that but breaking down these buildings i think should be a huge help in getting these resources so if i can get new people in i'm just pushing the button every day right if i can get new people in here Wow, these guys are right down here. Crazy. Sir, we found some trails. Looks like a few cars passed through here recently. But what's more curious, one of the vehicles must have had tracks instead of tires. Maybe it was some kind of bulldozer or a tank, maybe. Or a tank, maybe. Roger that. Roger that. Be careful. So these guys are getting attacked on the way in here because there's, you know, more hordes than normal. That makes sense. Uh, still bringing them in here. We know there are infected and we know about him as well. There we go. Sir, we reached the survivor. It was too late for him. He attacked us just as we entered the room. Yeah, so he was infected anyway. He's a liar. <laughs> That's too bad. Thanks for the report. Uh, but we need to get the stuff and get out. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get out. We'll, we'll back. We'll go back and get the stuff later. There's still more in there, but we kind of want to get away from, well, I mean, they're very much drawn to the car. So why don't we just go straight over through this and we'll just kind of draw them away from that address. See if they wander away. Um, we're still not getting attacked at all at our base. So that's good. We'll bring them, bring them down the street if we can. I don't know if they'll keep following me. I'm pretty far away now, but yeah, it looks like they're going to stop over there. I would actually like them to come after me so that I can keep them so that I can draw them away from the objective. So I think that's probably going to do it for the most part. We'll take the long way around and see if we can't get this. Maybe they'll stick around over here and then they won't see me anymore. I guess we'll find out uh, real quick. Just taking a quick gander up there. Doesn't seem to be super, super big deal. Do I do I have this completely unguarded right now, actually? Oh, I do. That's no good. I I wouldn't be able to see things even if they are coming at me. All right. Now I have vision of a much bigger area. Thank you. Uh, whoopsie. Anyway, uh, come over here. I just want to grab this guy's stuff. He's got a lot of stuff in this building. And I just want to grab it. And I don't want to be disturbed by all these silly infected. All right. So he's got a bunch of ammo. Let's do it. All that canned food. And then there's some guns, which we're probably not going to be able to take everything. Did we get everything? Yeah. Okay. Everything with the one slot to spare. Cool. That was just enough space. And then I want you guys to uh, first go this way to stay away from the pods. All right. Then we're going to have you, excuse me, we're going to have you head up this way. And then I want you to come right back and you're going to drop it off in storage. 
right over there. All right? And you're just going to get in this truck and wait right here. And hopefully that is going to allow us to see them coming from this side if they do. And there we go. All right, so we have another raider group. They're inside that building. There's only two of them. Ready for action. We could probably take them, but raider groups, they hurt more than the horde does because they have ranged attacks, right? I don't know if the horde ever gets a ranged unit, but I would hope not. Receiving. We're on the move. Receiving. I don't know. They did in Last of Us, right? Roger. All the All the dead, man, they just somehow they have ranged attacks now too. Uh, okay, so I think since we have two squads now, we're probably pretty good. Let's go ahead and just dump this off right here. That might be in the way of the builders. I'm not sure how that works, but I'm just going to get the truck out of the way of the builders. That's fine. Yeah, that shouldn't be a problem. And then we're going to go back in real quick and disband and disband. I think we're going to focus on the base today. We need a lot of brick. I'm putting a lot of people on brick over there. We need these buildings breaking and broken down. We're going to need so much brick for this fortify fortifications. <laughs> it's kind of wild. Uh, now, wait a minute. Now, this is a stormy day. So this is the other type of weather condition that can happen. Huge storm causes a much darker day. And the infected can actually walk around during that day. So our visibility is limited and they could potentially be, you know, walking around so we're probably going to want to keep some people and there's actually more canned food over here too we're probably going to want to keep some people back here just to defend the base so i'm going to make two squads we're going to have one of them go wait in that car and the other one go wait in this car i guess just so that we're mobile and then i know i'm going to get yelled at for this so i'm just gonna do that really quick just to make everybody happy okay there you go you can be happy now <laughs> uh yeah so we're just gonna hang out over here just so we can see and i'm gonna hang out kind of over here too against stormy day uh you know it's not like they're gonna come after you particularly but it just means that the wandering ones will keep moving around and they could potentially come and get you still so okay so a relatively uneventful day and a relatively uneventful night so not a whole lot happened now we are spotting one at the very last minute i guess uh I guess we'll see where they go so we know what building they're in. They are dying. Uh, you can see this too if you haven't seen this before. Because of their light sensitivity, it really harms them. So if they're out during the day, they take damage. They do not take a lot of damage. It's a very slow trickle of damage. But it's enough if they get trapped where it could have some meaningful effect on their strength. But you can kind of see how their health is going down there. It's not that fast. Uh, but all of them are now in safety. Uh, in their safe, their safe spots, right? Um... And, and that's fine. I am going to say that we're not going to scavenge today. We have 56 crates of ammunition. That's 5,600 bullets. 15 guns, which I, I would love to have more. Let's see if that spot down here that they created before, which is no longer the case. So they're moving it around from playthrough to playthrough, which is completely fine with me. Since that location over there anyway... I don't believe was actually a police department or anything, right? Remember, I grew up or didn't grow up around here. Um, I, I went, I lived around here for a little while, so I'm kind of familiar with the area. And, you know, Granville Police Department is over here. And Wyoming Police Department is, uh, if I get the squad, here's the highway. So P Wyoming Police Department is, I want to say, like maybe right about here. And so it's a, a, a difficult thing to, to, to get over there. We can't really do that. However, we do have the ability to do expeditions now, I think. So I'm going to send these guys over to... Yeah, there's some stuff over there. I'm going to send them to an expedition on that side. And we're going to just have them gather stuff. Oh, hang on. Nope, those are raiders. No, I think those are... Those are unarmed, aren't they? This is a neutral group, but they're wounded. That's what we want. We want these guys. Let's go back over. Okay, hold on. We we also spotted raiders too, so we'll have to do that as well. Chief, we've just encountered some wounded people. They claim to have been attacked by some armed men and escaped afterwards. All right, maybe they are currently escaping. 
Where was it? Where were they attacked? It was at Detached Sharon the Avenue Southwest. Alright, so we have a, a group that we can go in and raid now. Send them in. Alright, we'll accept them. Now, they're right here. So at least there are some that are right here. And I feel Operator. obligated to protect this Ready group here. Um I'm gonna ram them with the car. I think that's a good idea. We're just going to go straight at them with this vehicle and just mow them over. <laughs> wow, they're actually shooting up the car pretty fast. Yep, they're shooting up the car. Uh, I don't think they're running after the civilians. Yep, we're shooting them out of the car right now. The vehicle condition took a huge hit there, though. Look at this. They're still... Really? Attack. Here. Thank you. Yeah, they, they did a number on the vehicle, though. Man, those bullets... They are not friendly. So the car is in bad shape. It's probably not going to run very well. If we want to repair it, it's going to cost us 10 metal. It's not cheap to fix a vehicle. Yeah. Uh, but we did get the three guns from that. So I am going to bring that over before I go on any expeditions. And if I do go on an expedition, I'll probably take a different vehicle. Because this isn't really a good one to do it with anyway. All right. So let's bring this over. We'll dump the supply. We have now new guns. Let's also put this car kind of over here somewhere. I just want to like mark that this car is not the best car to be taken places. We'll use it if we have to kind of thing. And then I'm going to grab the truck for this. Always better to take the truck. And now we have four new people that have joined us. So good to have you. And uh, you guys can immediately start building the new living quarters, which can hold well over 50 people so it'll be very nice living for all of you uh i've decided i'm gonna go this way instead because it's closer so we're just gonna go that way instead and we're taking the truck because the truck has a lot of storage capacity and can do some great things so off the truck goes off the map onto an expedition i had some people ask in the comments how do you do expeditions what do you mean uh so you zoom out this is the expedition map okay you just zoom out and then you've got these big question marks. I know they kind of look a little bit like the little ones, but you don't use these ones. I, I don't know exactly why they're even marking these ones, but they're useless as far as I'm aware. They're useless um, because they're part of your main map. So you want to take the ones that are off of your main map, this, this bolded in green area, and then you just kind of click the center. You're going to click this little X, uh, question mark in the middle of that tile they will leave your play area and they will stand here in the center just leave them there they should be scavenging um i'm not noticing them actually doing anything though so that that is curious yeah they should be here scavenging but it doesn't actually say that they are Ooh, interesting maybe i'm Hold on. They should be scavenging this. I'm going to leave them there. They should be doing this, though. They were at least in the previous build. That's how it worked. If it's not working that way anymore, then... That's peculiar. Ah. Uh, hmm... It doesn't say they're scavenging. I'm going to leave them there for a second, and we'll see. But now I've got my... Now I'm skeptical, actually. Oh, your guys are pretty tough, goddammit. <laughs> I thought my men would make short work of you. But I lost them. Yeah, we beat you. We gave you hell. The risk I took was calculated, but man, am I bad at math. I really like this guy. I think he's awesome. Yeah, okay. So, I mean, I might be wrong here. The previous build, that's exactly how it worked. And they're not scavenging this. So that is interesting. Maybe there's something else to do with this now. I'm I'm actually drawing a blank on that. Because they should have done something already. And that's not happening. It's not showing that it's happening anyway. Uh, I'm going to bring the truck back. 
because I think way. it's probably wasting its time. You should at least see some progress in this area saying scavenging. If you don't see that, they're not doing anything. Um, and that, yeah, that's, uh, that's a little bit strange. Uh, now they're on their way. This, this always tells you what your squad is doing. So if they're not, if they're scavenging or searching something, you will always see that in this window. So if you don't see anything, that means they're not doing anything. Uh, we'll keep hitting the button. There's a lot less people to come in here, man. Uh, maybe it's a difficulty thing, but it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of people coming in here. I've hit this button pretty much every day, and that's the first squat people. That's the first group of people I've seen. And that group was wandering. It wasn't like they were responding to our calls or anything. So that is quite odd. Hostiles inbound. But okay. Uh, yeah, we can see a lot of these guys. We found another car, which is cool, up by Lamar Park. Um, I'm pretty sure we can... Yeah, we can go right past those guys. Hostiles inbound. And we're going to keep seeing them, and that's fine. Uh, did we just hit them? Ready for action. No, I don't think so. All right, so it is the morning again, and we have everybody at work. Uh, and no, nobody's wasting time here. Uh, we got everybody working. It's just that, you know, the truck was trying to scavenge, but see how they have scavenging progress? You always want to see that. Otherwise, they're not doing anything. That is bizarre, though. I, again, we, we showed this in a previous playthrough in, in, the, in the first playlist of how to do these expe expeditions. And... Uh, this it was actually really straightforward but that didn't work so i don't know maybe something else has to be done first now maybe there's something i'm missing about it uh, oh also last time we did this right last time we played i had this mast and i still want to have that mast right at the end of the street if i can so i'm going to place that mast right here i'm still going to do that just because it's awesome. And if you don't have the access to this, right? It'll prompt this for you, like when you first beat the game. But if you don't have access to this mast, you just f basically follow. Again, it'll prompt you when you open the game, the main menu. You follow their Steam page, basically, uh, on Steam. And that connection will get you this little tower unlocked. It's really, it's too metal. It's nothing. But it's like something aesthetic that you can have, you know, and that's fine. Clear. Uh, we need 13 brick to complete our houses. We have plenty of those, so this should just finish today. I'm hoping anyway. Yeah, that should totally finish today. Search done. Search done. Unless it bugs out. So right now they're dissatisfied because there's so many people living underground still. They don't have adequate housing. Rather than just giving them housing above ground in a shelter, I skip straight to houses. Which is nice housing. Like really luxurious type housing. And they're not finishing it. What is this? They're stopping it like 99%. No way. Deliver that one. There you go. Okay. I thought it was this tower all over again. All right, good. Now we have given them a house and living quarters for 51 people. Now they're happy. This is the first time I've ever seen them happy. Living conditions of the citizens are luxurious. Plus 40%. That's awesome. Worker efficiency up 40%. So now they'll just be 40% more effective. Sounds great. Uh, do I need another builder? Or do I need builders for anything else? Um, we haven't actually searched these buildings yet, but I, I do need a tool maker at some point. I only have six tools. Probably would be a good idea to get a tool maker at some point. Um, but I, I kind of want to get barns going for the chickens and stuff too. In order to do that, I kind of need the walls. I'm going to start the walls. Yeah, I'm going to start. Uh, I know it's a lot, but I'm going to start the walls. And I don't know if we really need the fortified walls, man, but I kind of want them. <laughs> I kind of want them just to see. Um, so where's our first fortified wall going to go? I think I'm going to use these as... I think I was going to use these buildings, right? Our first gate was going to go on this side. I remember that. First gate was going to go over here. But man, does it take a long time to build. And if the if the dorks build it, or if they ruin it too soon, right? I mean, it's a lot of materials, but we actually have this much, right? Yeah, we have this many materials. We could build this right now. I'm thinking we go maybe 
like right here with it. It's kind of wild to think that we're going to have fortified structures right now. But yeah, we're going to have fortified structures right now. That is still, that's 12 freaking brick for this little tiny snippet. Oh my God, it's terrible. Actually, wait, let's just build the gate first. Uh, cause this, this thing, if it, if it breaks down, like if they destroy it before we can fully build it, then I'll have to tear down the walls to rebuild it. Cause I can't connect it. So we'll just do that right there for now. And then let's go ahead and make sure we get a few builders on that. Uh, it looks like five is the maximum. So we'll send five maximum builders over there to do that. Ready for action. And that's our first fortified structure, guys. <laughs> I'm just saying, this is going to be crazy to have it this soon. I mean, defense is going to be a, a real, I mean, I want to say an easier, much easier thing, right? It should be a much easier thing. We got these guys. Sir, yeah. We've encountered a group of people that are willing to join us. We'll accept them. Send them in. There we go. Uh, accept 10 groups of immigrants is an achievement. Okay. The game's got achievements going on for that now. All right. So we are at 37 people. We still do not have enough people. Oh, we still do not have as many people as those who started at normal difficulty have. Right. They start with 40. So <laughs> we're still shorthanded significantly so uh we have four science points i'm saying we go down food probably and get ready for that with this many people we could start thinking about that kind of thing um we're not gonna need to worry about synthetic fuel for a long time we got plenty of that fertilizer production is going to be interesting but uh i kind of want the barns the barns will take care of that for us usually and then utilizing fertilizer techniques is next. So I think we're going to go farms first. Then the, far the fertilization techniques. Then from there, I think I'm going to go with weather forecast. I like knowing the weather. Um, it's it's maybe a niche thing. I know some people don't really care, but like knowing when the moon nights and stuff are going to be and, and being able to plan around that stuff is just a really nice convenience. It doesn't necessarily change anything like extreme. But it's, uh, I think it's a really nice convenience. Let's remove the scientists to make two squads out of them. Receiving. And just so we can have increased vision. There we go. We have a lot of vision now. Wow. Now we need to get down here if they started at all. And they did. So if they start it, we have to get down there and defend it. Because they can absolutely destroy it. It's, it has to be defended. So we're going to get ourselves sitting down here. And probably get one more squad up here just in case chief it makes me so proud to say that we've created a safe and prosperous place to live even if not everything is perfect it fills everybody with hope that we may live normally one day i think we should gather all our people together and rejoice uh sure what does that mean exactly like are you not gonna work tomorrow you're right Let's throw a big one for the people. Oh God, what have I done? I think we're gonna be throwing a party. I don't know if that's a good idea. <laughs> Probably make a lot of noise and draw them all in, right? But I don't know, hopefully we're not gonna do any fireworks or anything. Uh, I definitely wanna tear these buildings down. So I think Reporting. we're going to today because we have the, orders. Let's do it. We, well, we have daytime coming right now. We're going to go ahead and get you guys in here and disband. We're not going to need any squads as soon as it's daytime. Oh, really? Oh, over here. Are you guys done? Are you guys, are you just sitting there the whole night, weren't you? You're not done. Yeah, okay. Um, fair enough. How about we, this, let's scavenge these buildings with this squad and we'll see if anything's in there. And then after that, we can start tearing down these buildings cause they're huge. And I'd love to just like clear the way for, well, for this side. I think that sounds like a good idea. 
and we can also get people we already have people breaking these buildings down we're going to increase that the number that do that and then yeah still the maximum number of people working on this fortification here i think uh we'll take this down and i'm gonna have these guys work on brick today okay cool so it's the middle of the day uh, i think i'm gonna wrap the video here though we're making we made a lot of progress so far guys this is very different than the first time we did this map right very different than the first playlist so uh i'm i'm happy we started over i was gonna re try to rebuild it and everything but the way everything worked together it, it's gonna look way different because fortified walls <laughs> take it easy we'll see ya bye bye